Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, another little zombie tutorial. Uh, I was asked to find a power switch for five, and to be completely honest, I've never even played this map until about five, ten minutes ago prior to making this video. Uh, I was just always playing that other map, and then me and my friend Tyler decided to give this a try first time we were playing it. And then all we knew was that the power switch was in the basement, and I had no idea, so this is actually like our third try trying to do this. So I said, might as well start recording it and hopefully we get to the power switch and then see how far we can get just with the two of us. And it's actually a lot harder than the other map with two people because there's not that many places to go. It's pretty straight up. And as everyone knows, five is the beginning of the pentagon. And you basically want to start off, you know, the game like any other zombies game, you know, just patch up the windows, get the points, run around with a gun. And then, you know, we got up to the third or fourth level. And then after the fourth level, it's basically straight up, you know, you just keep doing the same thing over and over. So I skipped around to the fourth round over here. And then just like you should always do, you leave like a crawler or a slow zombie left and behind as you go and do this. So what you want to do is run through that first door, take this elevator downstairs. And this actually costs a decent amount of money, so you got to get some points up before you go around and doing this. Takes you to this basement. There's always that one guy there that's always there for some reason. You want to go through these barriers downstairs, come around here, go through these barriers. I'm out of money, so I'm going to put the power to open this up. Go through there, and now there's going to be this little switch back here, another gated off thing. I want to open this up, you know. We ran out of money, so we had to do what I do in the last zombie tutorial. You know, to you know, just hang around, uh, kill some more zombies, pass some more doors, get to the points real quick before you run downstairs and go in. So, you know, we're trying to hold out this round real quick, trying to get some more money or points, whatever you want to call it. And then the main reason why I have no money is because I'm just trying to, you know, rush through this map real quick and show you how to get to the power switch, otherwise I wouldn't be rushing this quick. So I'm going to come into this back room, got to open up that, my buddy Tyler opens that up. You drop down, it's like even the lower part of the basement, this is like a testing lab it looks like. There's like, you know, there's, there's pigs, there's benches where they do all the surgery, it's kind of disgusting. I'm not going to actually go through it all, but the main building right here is where you want to find the power switch, right over here, the, right next to the bloody handprint. And then what opens up is these portals that this one takes you back up to the top level. There's another portal down here that takes you up to the other side of this part. You know, it's all straight up confusing. And then once you hit up the switch, just like in the other map, you know, all the crawlers, all the gases, everything comes at you real quick and you gotta try and survive on your own. And then, to be completely honest, I was not expecting them all to come out this quick. So, I, you know, I'm trying to get a friend, trying to get to the portal real quick. Now I'm up over here all by myself because the portal like locks up for a second and then they keep on coming through. We weren't sure if the zombies were able to come through. We were thinking that this would take us to the beginning. We'd go back through the bottom. We're trying to get them off from behind. So my buddy gets knocked down. So I'm trying to run around and uh, trying to fend for myself while I'm getting attacked by all these zombies. And that was pretty predictable. It didn't go very well because all I have is the M14 right now. We're just pretty much rushing through it. And then, you know, you still got all the perks and all that stuff. I might make a video about that later. But just someone asked me to get this done, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then, like I said, it got down right here. You know, it only takes about four or five rounds to get there. We rushed it, but, you know, it was fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope this helped you. And I'll probably make another perk video later. Thanks.